How you been? Haven't <laughs> seen you in a while. I've been pretty good. Um, trying to stay healthy, you know. Has, has it been frustrating just to have the couple things that have, have cropped up for you this season? Uh, I can't really say it's been frustrating. I mean, it's football things happen, so I can't get down or anything like that. Just move forward. You're, it, maybe not this year, but in the past you've missed games or you've had to stay home from road trips to watch games on TV. What's what's that like, that experience? Uh, I always hate to miss a game, you know. I want to get in there with my teammates and uh, play and have fun like uh, like we always do. But, you know, it's always tough, but I just, I'm just i playing now, so I'm glad. Is it weird, though, to watch it on TV when, when it's your team? It's your uh, Yeah, of course it's weird, you know. Uh, Screaming and yelling and everything at the TV like they can hear you and stuff like that. But you know, uh, it's nothing like being on the sideline and actually being in the game. Has it kind of hit you yet that the season's beginning to wind down your career? Uh, I'm trying not to think about that. Uh, you know, we just take one game at a time. You know, it's my senior year and it'll come to an end some soon. So, you know, I'm just, you know, going one game at a time, taking advantage. What does LSU mean to you? Uh, LSU means a lot to me. You know, I actually never played LSU, so uh, this will be my first time. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this game. You said you're trying to stay healthy. How? I mean, how are you feeling overall? I mean, I'm feeling pretty good, man. Pretty consistent right now. Um, I just can't complain about any injury because you know I'm getting better and better. You know, so I can't you know, go backwards. What kind of opportunities are you seeing in coverage when when defenses are trying to double up on Amari? And things like um, I see a lot of man, and that's that's perfect for me. I love it, you know. And especially with LSU, they play a lot of man, so uh, we're looking forward to, uh, you know, they got to try to stop our run, man. Hold up, we see this one on one, so we look forward to that. What have you seen from their secondary when you studied film this week? Uh, they're very physical and uh, they're very disciplined secondary. You know, um, they they try to put their hands on you and, and try to press you, and you know, try to do a lot of blitzes towards you to mess you up, but. Um, that's a real great game. As a receiver, is it just as rewarding for you when you make a block like you've done on Mari's screen and things like oh, yeah, that? Yeah, that's, that's, that's just as good as a catch to me. You know, uh, I just want to see my teammate in the end zone. If it's me or anybody else, you know, I just, I just want to get in the end zone and win the game. What is yeah. it do you think that makes Amari so good? Uh, Amari is very talented. You know, he's self-motivated. You know, he don't need anything to motivate him. Um, he works hard, so that alone get him a long way. You said you haven't been to LSU before. What, are they, what have your teammates told you about playing uh, that night there? Yeah, my teammates told me it's very intense, you know, loud, and and um, it's going to be a good game because they come every time we play them at home. They come with their game, and, you know, um, I'm looking forward to it. How do you think the offense handled the, the simulated crowd noise in practice this week? Uh, we, we handled it very good. You know, we're playing more and more on the road, and we're getting really, really used to it. So um, we're just getting better and better. How close to how close is that simulation like in terms of the noise that you can pump in? Um, the simulation, it isn't, it isn't far away from each other, but at the same time, it's not like a real thing. So um, we, in practice, we um, we try to, to simulate the real thing, and sometimes you can't really hear each other in practice either because of the speakers and stuff like that, so it helps out a lot. Were you guys more on the same page against Tennessee than maybe you were against Ole Miss? And what was the reason for that? Um, you know, after the Ole Miss game, we just had to take a step back and, and reevaluate what we did and, and see um, what we need to do better. And um, that was maybe one of them, communication. And and we, you know, we ever since then we are uh, we've been on point of communication and, and have more and more, you know, uh, confidence in each other. If we if we went back to when you were starting out, if I had said to you, "Hey, Blake Sims is going to be your quarterback your senior year and done all this," would you have been surprised? I don't know, I always have faith in Blake. I wouldn't have been surprised at all because um, Blake, he's a very good guy. Um, he has an arm on him, and he, he's getting better and better. So I, back then, I wouldn't be surprised because he played a little quarterback back then, too. So um, I'm just glad to be playing with my teammate. I came in with a quarterback, and I'm a receiver, and um, it's a privilege. How much has he changed over the years? Um, Blake is the same old. You know, he just he got smarter in football and got better as a quarterback. You know, he had no choice but to get smarter and get better. So. Um, that's all he did to me.